Okay, good day, good day, good day. Um, welcome to our second session. Where in this part two, I'll be uh, discussing uh, the last type of parabola. So if you haven't watched the previous video, I will advise that you go through the playlist and uh, see the first part that we did in the, in the previous lesson. So without uh, wasting any time, I'm going to show you guys uh, uh, how a third parabola will look like. And then also, uh, if you are new to our channel, uh, please uh, subscribe and share and also comment if uh, there are certain things that you think we can improve on. And then, yeah, we are always up for any advice. So remember, we've done the two previous type of uh, parabolas, but we know that they all have the same uh, shape, which can either be smiley or a set shape. So if uh, we were to draw a Cartesian plane, for example, remember this is always x, then uh, this will be y. You can have your y values there. So if I were to have a, let's say, a smiley parabola, let's say it goes this way and then it cuts there and then it cuts there again. So if you look at this type of parabola, it's cutting our x axis twice. It's cutting on this point and also on that point. So meaning we've got a type of a parabola that cuts twice on the x. Remember, it also cuts the y on that uh, uh, value there. So when you have a type of parabola like this one, first thing that you must always do, let's just put values. Let's say here the value is 2, is positive 2. Then let's just put here as uh, minus 3 now. So if I've got this type of parabola, for example, we can always simplify this type of parabola to uh, an equation. Let's say um, our y value where it's cutting is minus 5. Ne? That point there where it's cutting is minus 5. So if I were to solve uh, this type of uh, hyperbola, first thing that you must always do is that we know it's cutting x at two different points. So therefore, we know that it must have a uh, first x point which we we'll call it x1 ne? so the first x point will be x1 and then it's, it's cutting x twice we're going to have the second x point which is your x2 ne? so you've got two different type of x points for this type of graph so first thing first uh, if they give us an equation like this i can always simplify to find out uh, what values can i have there for example i don't know what a is i'll just leave a as it is now but if we were to put x1, remember, x will remain as x. But my x1 can either be any of them. Let's use the one on the negative side as our x1. Since here it's negative 3, therefore you know that in the bracket it must be plus 3. Because there is negative 3. And then you open another bracket, x minus. The second one we know is positive, positive 2. If it's 2, therefore on the bracket must be minus 2. So this will be the first step you must do. Just put your x1. And x2 values now as they are. Then from there onwards, remember we've got this point here is negative 5. And then remember, wherever the graph cuts on the y, which is the y intercept, the value of uh, x will be 0, meaning the coordinate that I'm having here, it's x will be 0. So the coordinate I'm having when it's cutting at y will be 0 and minus 5. Ne? That is my coordinate that I'm having there. It's 0 and minus 5 as your coordinate ne? it's 0 and minus 5 so therefore i can simplify and solve for a now because i know that y is minus 5 so i'm going to put y as minus 5 because the aim is to go and solve for a ne? and then i'm going to have equals to a i don't know so far and then x we know it's 0 so i see x i'm going to put 0 and then plus 3 now and then i open and then again x is 0 minus Two ne? as our expression, and then from there onwards, we know we can just uh, do multiplication. This will be three, and then zero minus two will be negative three. So three times negative two, that will be minus six. Ne? So therefore, this side I'm gonna have minus five, and then I'm gonna have a. We know that the two numbers on the bracket, when we multiply them, they'll give us minus six. Ne? And since our aim is to solve for a, I will divide both sides by minus six. Also the other side by minus 6 therefore our a will be negative 5 over 6 
which is the same thing as 5 over 6. Therefore, our a will be 5 over 6. Now. That's your a, which is 5 over 6. So we can just go back to the whole thing. I'm going to put it this side there. So we can just go back and fill the whole thing with all the values now, since I've got the a. So we know a is 5 over 6 now. And then you open the bracket. So it would be x. x1, we already know. We're having plus 3 there. And then again, close the other, open the other bracket. And then we know it's x minus 2 now. So basically, uh, x minus 2. So that's your equation for that graph. That will be the equation of that graph that we we given to us. So that will be the equation of the given graph now. That will be the equation of the given graph. Uh, since we've got the a and also um, x1 and also x2. But since we know our algebra, ne, we can always go from this third format, remember this is the third format, ne, to the first format that we did, which is having a, b, and c. So to do that, we can do uh, uh, basic, our basic algebra. Ne. The 5 over 6, we know we can just leave it outside as it is. Ne. And then we'll open a bigger bracket. Because I need to go and simplify uh, these two guys which are there. So remember, to simplify, we we'll take this x and multiply with this x ne, first. So x times x will be x squared. Ne. And then we continue. This x that I'm having here would we'll multiply that negative 2. So x times negative 2 will give us negative 2x. Ne. And then we we'll continue again. 3 that we're having here would we'll multiply. Uh, the x, so therefore I'm going to have positive 3x eh? and then we're going to finish off with the two numbers so it's going to be 3 that we are having here times the negative 2 so 3 times negative 2, that will be minus 6 eh? then you close your bracket and then from here onwards we we'll just simplify so y will be equals to 5 over 6 eh? so we're going to get the leg times, so it's going to be 5 over 6 5 over 6 and then open the bracket so the like terms we know negative 2 plus 3 uh, that will be plus positive 1 which will be the same as positive x now. so that will give us positive x and then this will be minus 6 so from here onwards we need to finish off so the number that is outside will multiply everything inside one by one now. so I'm going to leave my answer this side so it will be 5 over 6 times x squared, which will be 5 over 6 x squared. Eh? So it will be 5 over 6 x squared as our first answer. 5 over 6 x squared. And then eh? 5 over 6 times x, which will be 5 over 6 x. Eh? Let's multiply the number outside with everything inside the bracket. 5 over 6 x. And then the last one will be 5 over 6 times negative 6 there. Eh? So I know that um, 5 over 6 times uh, negative 6. So negative 6 and negative 6 you can solve. That will give us negative 5. That should give us negative 5 now. Eh? So now remember, this is the same as the first format because the value that is before x squared is your a. Eh? The value before x is our b. The last number will be our c. So I'm having the first format which is a, b and c. So they always give you guys a graph. Then from the graph onwards, you must first simplify it using the third format. Once you get the third format, do algebra and go to the first format. Because they'll always ask you to prove that this graph has this type of equation as your final answer. So yeah, that will be the example of the uh, third type of parabola. So in the next session, I'll just be doing a different type of questions to show you guys uh, how you can apply this and also do some intercepts. And then with parabola, I think that will be that. So yeah. And once more again, uh, go through uh, our channels and see the type of questions you can get. Ne? And then uh, also send them through our comment section. Ne? So the last thing I want to do with Parabola is to do uh, the intercepts. Ne? So I can have uh, the x intercept. So we have the intercept. So I have x intercept this side and then y intercept. Ne? So I just want to finish off as with a typical intercept of a parabola. Ne? So we have x and also y intercepts ne? as our two parabola uh, intercepts. Ne? So remember, x intercept, that's the point uh, where the graph cuts at x. Ne? 
wherever your graph cuts at x, we call that x intercept. Wherever the graph cuts at y, we call that y intercept. So always remember, at x intercept, the value of y is 0. I'll repeat, at x intercept, the y value must be 0. At y intercept, the value of x must be 0. That's how uh, these two intercepts work, ne? to sort of like work together in a way. So wherever the graph cuts, let's say I'll draw a graph. And then that's my parabola, my parabola, for example. My parabola is cutting x there. And then let's say it cuts y there. That's the point where it cuts y there. That's the point where it cuts x there. So wherever you, and also it will cut, also cut x there. Ne? Wherever your graph, any graph, where it cuts x, the value of y there must be 0. Same here, the value of y must be 0. Wherever it cuts y, we call this point the y-intercept. The value of x must be 0. Eh? So let's do an example. Let's say I just give you a typical uh, uh, parabola, for example. Let's just call it x squared. Just call it x squared. So a is 1 and then plus uh, 7x as our uh, parabola here. Let's say they give us that as our parabola. And then they want us to do the intercepts of that parabola. Eh? Then let's say plus 10 as well. Then they ask us to find the intercepts there. So the first one that I'm gonna uh, always advise to look for is the y-intercept because y-intercept is quicker to find. Eh? So with the y-intercept, wherever you wanna see x, you will put zero because x must be zero. Eh? So I've got x there. I'll just put zero, which will be zero squared. Eh? So that will be zero squared, and then we continue. Wherever you see x, don't forget, you must put 0. Ne? So we put 7 there. So it will be 0. And then the last one will be the number. The number doesn't does not have x. So you can't put a 0 next to the number. So it just become plus 10. Ne? And if you put everything in the calculator, this will give you an answer of 10. Because everything else will be 0. So your y will be 10. Ne? If you simplify that thing, we just put all the values as they are on the calculator. It will give you an answer of 10. And remember, if you get an answer of 10, x must be 0. So the x value must be 0 on the y-intercept, meaning the y value will be 10. So that will be the coordinate of that y-intercept. x must be 0, y will be 10. Then the x1, remember, where you see y, you're going to put 0. That will be y there, giving us 0. Right? So meaning to be 0 is equal to x squared uh, plus 7x plus 10. Right? So it will be 0 will be equal to x squared plus 10 plus 7x plus 10. Ne? So meaning now you're going to have to factorize to get the two x values. Ne? And remember, if you're uncomfortable with factorizing, use the quadratic formula ne? because the formula just requires a, b, and c. So you have got a, b, and c. So the formula will give us the two x values. But I'll just factorize this one. So it will be two x factors. So one, I know it will be 5. Because five, 5 times 2 will give us 10. So it will be 5. And then the second one will be 2. Yeah. So it will be 5 plus 2. And then the second bracket will be x plus 2. This will be my two factors that I'm getting. And remember, when you equate everything to 0, the sign will change. Because here I'm moving to... Sorry for this. Just put the bracket there. So therefore, my answers will be negative 5 and negative 2. So this will be my two x intercepts be minus 5 and also minus 2. So you normally get two uh, x intercepts for a parabola. So that one will be minus 2. Ne? So that will be your two x intercepts for that given uh, graph. Ne? So that will be negative 2. Then that's it. And then uh, therefore, remember, there must be coordinates. Ne? So it will be minus 5 because y must be 0 for this x intercept. So it will be minus 5 and 0. And then also minus 2 and 0. That's your two x intercepts. So this thing will be worth around 4 max. Ne? So mostly it's around 4 max whenever they ask you. So x, sorry, I'm putting x again. So remember, second bracket will be minus 2 and 0. Ne? I don't know why I'm putting x again. Though. Minus 2 and 0 as your other intercepts. So that will be your different intercepts. And again, if you've got different examples, you can send them on uh, the comment section. Then I'll show you guys uh, maybe how to go through them. And then the last thing that the poll will ask you is to draw the graph. Ne? To the graph, remember, just put the intercepts.